Hey guys, Chris from Propel here, and today we're in Mutal, Germany, just a little outside of where Risa Mueller's new factory is, and we're checking out some of the 2020 bikes. Right now, we're gonna check out one of my personal favorites and probably the bike that I'll be choosing for myself for next year. It's the Risa Mueller Load 60 2020. So it's the 2020 model of the Load 60, which is the shorter version. And this bike has a lot of changes for next year, so let's check it out. So in first looking at this bike, you can tell that something's a little different from a traditional bike in that it's a cargo bike meaning that it's designed to carry cargo. This area here can carry up to 200 pounds, which is a pretty large capacity. But this cargo bike is particularly special because it's full suspension. So it has a front suspension as well as a rear suspension. And it's pretty much one of the only bikes on the market that's designed in this way. Part of what I really like about it is, is the full suspension, but just having that capacity. Because usually, you know, when you have a cargo bike, sometimes it kind of feels a little bit cumbersome, it doesn't handle as well, but this bike handles just as well, if not better than most traditional bikes. It's uh, really comfortable with the suspension in, in what Risa Mueller calls control technology, keeping full control of the bike while keeping your wheels on the ground. And that's part of the intention of the suspension beyond just comfort, but it's comfortable too. We'll get into the real details in just a bit, but just to give you an overview, new Bosch motor. This is a really big update for 2020. There's some changes aesthetically. If you look at it first, you'll see this standard size chain ring which historically Bosch has always had this smaller chain ring, which rotates two and a half times for every crank revolution. This one's a one-to-one -one relationship. Uh, they are able to sh shave a lot of weight off the motor. And for the speed motors, which historically it's been kind of this thing of, do you get a high torque or high speed? Now you get the high torque with the high speed, which for us has been one of the more popular options. And then, for the load overall, we got new drivetrain options, belt drive. Uh, this has new lights on it and also options for off-road tires, which historically has not been an option on, on the load, but actually it's quite popular in environments like this where it's more a gravel trail. Uh, having these knobby tires can help perform really well. For us, the load has been a really popular bike and I think in part because it works for many different people. One of the great things about the load is it's really a true car replacement. It's often defined as a bike with a trunk. And this year, it's kind of even more of a trunk because now we got this lockable box, which is really cool. But overall, people are using it for many different reasons. I personally use it just because I like to carry stuff and I don't like to use the car. So if I need to go shopping or run errands, go to Home Depot, I've carried all sorts of things, whether it's an air conditioner to four cases of beer. I've put my wife in the bike many times or friends. Um, and it's nice to have those options. Some of the common scenarios that we see in the shop is carrying kids. And another great thing about the bike overall is it can fit all sorts of rider heights. I mean, from our experience, it could fit a rider from five foot to six four, six five. We even had some riders a little bit taller, but you might need to make some changes maybe to the handlebars and seat. But one of the things, as the seat goes up, it also goes back. So then you end up having a little bit more space, but you also have this adjustability of the bike. So you can raise the handlebars up and down, uh, which at the moment, they're kind of at a relatively medium size. But if we put it up to the top position, this will certainly fit well for a taller rider. But you also have this extension that you can put the, the handlebars back or forward, depending on your needs. And that's, uh, that's quite nice. So if you want it to be in a more sporty position, you can push them forward like this. Or if you want it to be in a more comfortable position, you can pull them back like so. And this has been the same for all the load models and it's really great. You also have the quick adjust for the seat. And we often find that people are sharing these for, for families. So you'll have uh, you know, a couple and, um, and they'll, they'll share the bike between the two of them. And, and it, even if they have a big variance in their heights, it, it works quite well. So some really big changes for this year are the new 
roll off hub option, which previously was not an option on the load, but it was asked for relatively often because it is available for several other of the recent newer models. Now this has the Roloff E14, so it's electronically shifted, connected to the Bosch system, has the auto downshift, and major change here as well is this new belt drive. So this is a Gates carbon belt drive. They actually specifically designed this for Riesen Mueller because it's a, a bit of a longer belt to accommodate the larger chain ring in the front and the full suspension, but Overall, the integration is amazing, and you know this is a great option for a really low maintenance setup. So this belt will be available on the Vario version as well, and then the chain will come standard on the Touring version. The Roloff is probably best known for its wide range of gears. It's a 14-speed internally geared hub, so it has 526% of gear range whereas a normal derailleur you might see somewhere in the range of 400 to somewhere in that area. So as we come up to the bottom bracket area, one thing you'll see real quick is this motor really tucked away here, but it's actually hidden behind this larger chain ring. This is another update for the new Bosch system where we have the standard size chain ring as opposed to the smaller one, which was previously used. This also integrates this special design from Risa Mueller where they're using a pulley system so they're able to use a belt on a full suspension bike. So as with all the new generation four motors, they're quite a bit smaller than the previous generation two motors. And they're also lighter and the footprint's a little bit different. Now this is the cargo line. And one of the things that's very special about the cargo line it offers up to 400% of support compared to 275% support on the Generation 2 motors. And it can actually assist you with a total weight of up to 551 pounds, which this is pretty unique to this motor specifically. I'm not really aware of many motors that are out there that really are made to handle so much weight. Now this is the standard version, but it's also available in the speed version. Both of the motors have 75 newton meters of torque. So you no longer have to make a compromise on torque to have the high speed option. And it, from my personal perspective, I think a lot of people will opt for the high speed because this is really a good bike to use as a car replacement and the high speed offers a lot of versatility when you might occasionally have to mix it up with traffic or whatever the case may be. So that's, that's probably the preferred option, definitely the high seller in our shop. So one of the things a lot of times comes up when people see these electric bikes is how do they work? Now, the Bosch system uses a technology called pedal assist. So basically you pedal the bike and it provides assistance. Now it's reading senses on, on the motor system you have one sensor which senses your pedal cadence, as in how fast the pedals are moving. Another senses how hard the pedals are being pushed. And the last sensor is on the rear wheel. It's sensing how fast the wheel is moving. So you have a, a sensor here and then a magnet on the rear spoke. And inside the motor, there's a microprocessor and it's taking a thousand senses per second. So it's just going to assist you. It's going to kind of amplify your input as opposed to replacing your pedaling. You do pedal, you do always get exercise, but you have full control over how much you actually want to work. And then your assistance is going to be proportionate to your input as well as the setting that you choose on how much assistance that you want. So this bike is set up with the standard configuration which is a single 500 watt hour power pack and this is a 36 volt battery 13.6 amp hours so it's about 500 watt hours it is available in a dual battery setup which would be mounted on the back of the box but this is the standard setup if you wanted to charge the bike you can charge it through this port here and you can also charge the battery off the bike so something helpful, particularly with a cargo bike where you might have to park it in an area where you can't charge it. So you can take the battery inside and charge it. it makes it a lot easier. So to use the bike, we're gonna turn it on, just hit the power button here and we'll get some information. 
So the basic information you see is the battery life here. You see the assistance levels that you're in, the speedometer. Currently it's set to kilometers per hour, but you can also change it to miles per hour, which we'll generally see in the States. The light, which is can be switchable, uh, but for these new versions, the light will be on all the time as the default because it does have brake lights on it and those are powered off of the lighting system. So my recommendation would be to keep that light on. The trip time, this is also something that you can rotate and change these different things. So you have the range, odometer, which gear, because this is the roll-off hub, this will only be on the roll-off system, by the way. Trip distance, clock, max speed, average speed, and back to the trip time. I'll put it on the range because that's kind of a cool thing to show. So when we turn the system on, by default, it's going to be in off mode, which is no assistance. Then we go to eco, which is a 60% assistance. The next level is tour, which is 140% assistance. Sport mode is 240%. And then we go to the top level of assistance. This is special on the cargo line. It's 400% assistance on the turbo mode, as you see here. So the load comes standard with the Tektro Auriga E-Comp hydraulic disc brakes, which work really well and they are specifically designed to be able to work with the cargo bike and they have this longer uh, span of hydraulic tube. So in looking down at the brakes, we can see the dual piston caliper here, also Tektro Auriga, set up with the Tektro 180 millimeter rotor in the front and 203 in the rear. You can also see the front hub, which is a through axle, set up with a custom fork for Risa Muir, which is a Suntour XCM through axle fork. Really well set up for the cargo bike and with the through axle makes it even more stiff. So in looking at this side of the bars, you'll see the roll off shifter. Now this is the E14 shifter. So we have the ability to shift the gears up and down. So it's a plus here to change the gears and a minus here. And we can change gears actually individually or three at a time. Now looking at this, we see the switch for the lights. This will enable us to turn the high beams on or off on the new M99 Mini Pro light, which is really, from my experience, one of the best lights on the market available for e-bikes. And it's really nice that this bike is specced with it as a standard. It also has brake lights as well with the M99 tail light. The brake lights are activated just by pulling the lever. Something you might also notice when up by the bars is these kind of funky shaped grips here. So these are Ergon GP1 grips and they're designed specifically to be ergonomic and to give your hand a wider place to rest on. And instead of having a kind of narrower grip which might cut off the circulation in your hand, this is a really comfortable grip that it provides really good support. For the saddle, Risa Mueller has the Cell Royale look-in saddle. It's a moderate width here and it has a 3D skin gel, which is really quite comfortable, but firm enough for those longer rides as well. This is the GX version, so it has these Smart Sam tires, which are a knobby tire made for a little bit more of an off-road setup. The standard configuration is the Big Ben Plus front and rear, 20 inch in the front, 26 in the rear. But if you're riding in a little bit more of an off-road setting, this is a great way to go. One of the great things about the Risa Mueller bikes overall is they come with tons of different accessories. Now it does come standard with these fenders. On the high-speed bikes, they come with standard with the rear carrier. This one is the low-speed bike. It does not come standard with that. However, it is an option and basically just kind of sits out over the top here. And also comes standard with this cafe lock or frame lock, which there's an option to add a chain. You have a keyhole on the other side, which uses the same key as the battery, which is really nice. And then you have the other options, which is primarily in the box area. And we'll go check that out. So another big update for 2020 comes to the box area. Now you see this hard cover to the box, which this is the standard high side walls with the adaptation for the this hard cover top. Now the great thing about this top is it works in conjunction with child seats. Now these are some new child seats for the 2020. 
Uh, Risa Mueller has a new designer that has a lot of experience doing uh, troller, strollers and uh, car seats, and he used some of the different design concepts and integrated them here. Now the cool thing is that you can actually remove the child seats, but you can also adjust the heights of them. So you can pull this seat up for maybe a taller child or drop it down a little bit lower for a shorter child. Certainly when you're gonna close the box, you'll wanna have that seat down on the lower side, but you can uh, close the box with the child seats in here. Another major change to the cargo area is this new footwell. Now this was available in the for the load 75, but now it's available with the load 60. So you have that additional accommodation for children's feet or even potentially adults' feet. And you have these different settings that you can do here. So one, you can put this board here and to have additional compartment here if you want to put a bag or something like that. Or if you want, you can also set the footwell up to, to be in the forward position so you have just overall more space in the box. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed checking out this bike. This is definitely the bike I'm most excited about for 2020. We'll be doing reviews on all the rest of the lineup of Risa Mueller as well as many other models for 2020. So stay tuned for more updates and let us know what you think in the comments. We'll see you soon.